Hey folks, Miguel here with Devil Dog Dot Games. Just wanted to throw out one more update on the um, fleet side pickup build. And this is something that's been on my bench for about a year or so. I'm, I've decided that I'm going to start knocking off items uh, from my, from my um, project list. Starting with the oldest to new, and this is the one that's been on my bench the longest, so this will be the first one I, I focus on before I ultimately finish with uh, my Fred Henry build, which is, I'm starting over. I uh, messed up my my roll cage, so I'm going to rebuild this from scratch. I broke off the whole, uh, the back end of it, all the tubs and everything, so i got to rebuild that, so that'll be a fun project here. But... We're going to start with the pickup. So this is the Ravel 66 uh, fleet side pickup. Um, obviously not doing it box stock. I really, the only thing I'm using from the box is the body, the glass, and the, you know, the trim, like the, the uh, front end bezel and such. Um, this is all custom right now. It's a, a meld of the... 66 fleet side a scratch built chassis some components from the c5r corvette and a scratch built um, chassis that i put together and then i've started incorporating some 3d printed stuff so the the fuel cell is from uh is a 3d printed part that i designed and it, it fits in there pretty well i think i'll go with that uh, the pumpkin is from the Corvette. The the axle shafts are all just styrene rod. Uh, the wheels are aftermarket wheels. They were chrome. I de-chromed them and the black was under the chrome. So I'm going to leave that. And then I painted the, the rings body color. Uh, turned out pretty good. So this is what I was working on most recently. I was I had scratch built or sort of scratch built. This is the uh, interior tub from the C5R Corvette. And I was using that, but I didn't like the way some of the stuff was turning out. Um, and so I started adding some, some styrene parts and some rod and building a cage. And I thought, you know what? I can 3D print that better. So what I did was, <coughs> excuse me, I 3D printed a chassis tub in multiple parts and I'll show you the parts here. So the main, the base is, is this, this part here. And you can see in the, in the firewall, it's got like a, a panel. Um, this will be like a aluminum or steel. And then the firewalls behind it. I did some detail work there. And then the interior is just uh, plain, but I'm probably going to do some rivet detail uh, there so that that looks like sheet metal. I have the roll cage, which <clears throat> I'm going to do one more iteration of um, just tweaking it just a little bit so that it fits a little bit better, but it does fit pretty good right now. I did shave off the the feet um, where it connects to the, the, the interior base just a little bit. And then these panels are contoured panels. They... They slide right in and they follow the contour of the body as you can see or maybe you can't see if I'm terrible with the camera but and then they and they sort of just there's an index slot there so that it indexes with the back panel and these these are also going to have some like bead roll and some rivet detail on there by the time I'm done uh, but then you can see the the back panel. Uh, same thing. There's a, a slot here for it to index. It supports the back of the, the tub with that, that little um, slot, whatever you want to call it. And then it it also provides an index for for the um, the side rail. So the side rail just sl slits slips on there, and then it. You know, it's indexed in there. It's nice and solid. So, so that'll be great. Looking forward to the next print of these. I think it'll be, 
I think it'll be the final version of those, um, I'm, and I'm going to print those today. This is the scratch chassis that I built. I built this out of styrene. It's all styrene, uh, except for these upper frame rails came from the C5R Corvette. <clears throat> and as I said, the, um, the axle uh, pumpkin, the quick change or whatever that, I don't know, that's not really a quick change, but that's, uh, that's the pumpkin from the C5R. The rest of this is all styrene rod and sheet styrene and I drilled some holes in some sheet styrene there and did some detail work there and I like the way that it I like the way that it turned out it sits really nice it fits the truck really well and so I thought you know what what the hell I'm gonna 3d I'm gonna design that in 3d and then print it and so I did this printed last night. It took forever. I'm going to actually pull this off of the base right now and see if we can't not break it. See if we can get it off of here without breaking it. Ow! Just stabbed myself. I'm trying to be super careful because the supports are minimal here. I mean, the number of supports. <clears throat> Look at that. I stabbed myself well enough that I'm actually bleeding. These spatulas, they'll get you every time. All right. Let's actually clean this up so that it's not laying around contaminating everything. Same thing with the bottom here. Now I've washed this. This just came off the printer a few minutes ago. I took it to the sink and I just washed it in very warm water. Normally I would wash in some super clean. Uh, several times, rinse it, repeat until uh, until it was sufficiently clean and then I would uh, clean it up uh, clean the supports off of it and then what do you call it uh, cure it I used medium supports and I'm getting freaking blood everywhere sorry guys if that makes anybody squeamish I apologize Kind of one-handed here, so I'm going to have to just be real careful. I don't want to break anything. This is the first print of this. And uh, so far I'm liking it. It looks like it turned out pretty well. Let's see, Let's see if we can take some of these off of here. Without breaking anything. I did change up the... Because obviously when I when I scratch built it, I used a kit part for this upper frame rail. So I just kind of had to throw something together in the 3D model. So I just used some square square uh, geometry. Let's get this off of here. Come on now. Beat it. <clears throat> Look at that. All right. Move out of my way. Wow. I think that actually turned out pretty nice. I mean, there it is compared to the original. Let's put it together and see how it fits with the truck. All right, so back panel goes in. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention was this back panel. If you notice on the kit, there's a ridge here just below the window. This index is right up against that ridge sits and it you know basically sets it in the right position it works out really well wrong side this one goes over here and then this one goes here get in there okay roll cage goes in and then chassis bottom i mean interior bottom and then this 
Oh yeah, it looks like okay. I did ex I did print these a or I did design these or put these in here a little bit long, so it may be may may need to be trimmed just a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I need to sand those down just a little bit. As a matter of fact, you know what? This is a test print. I'm gonna clip those. I'm just gonna clip them. Let's see, let's clip it right there. And right there. Let's see if we can get this in here. Actually, let's nib those a little bit more. Getting closer. There it is. Look at that. It fits right in there. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. And then it's got the frame's got the uh, the four link. You'll notice I did a, I scratch built four link on here, and the details not great, but it's good enough. But I went ahead and incorporated four link uh, brackets into the chassis, and I did the the box around the fuel cell. Um, I have a fuel cell that I've designed specifically to fit in there in my uh, my blender file. But yeah, look at that. I'm digging it. It turned out really well. I'll adjust this here a little bit. So that's going to it's going to look really good. Set that in there. Let's see. Here's the engine that I started assembling for that. That'll sit in there. I need to do some, maybe I'll incorporate uh, engine mounts on the, uh, in the next one instead of having to glue those in. I think that turned out really great. Yeah. I'm This whole kit, this whole uh, 3D printed parts stuff is going to be part of a trans kit that I'm going to sell. I'm going to, when I'm done... And I've got everything test printed and um, fitting and, and everything comes out really nice. I'm going to sell this as a kit. The only thing you'll need is the body, um, the front end, and the glass. Everything else everything else will be part of the 3D print kit. Even the, the tires and wheels. I, I designed a, a similar set of wheels. And then I have tires. Um that we can use. In fact, here's some 3D printed tires that I have. Very similar, very similar size. But yeah, I'll have tires and wheels, the axle, the suspension, it'll all be part of the kit. The engine will be part of the kit. It'll come with uh, either a 570, probably a 572 or maybe a 632, I'm not sure. Probably a 572. And then uh, We'll see how that goes but yeah that's it looks great i'm really impressed with the way that it turned out i like that real happy with that anybody that's interested in one of those let me know uh the more people that tell me they're interested the faster i i work on or i i come to completion on that i'll i'll put some effort in there and knock that one out sooner rather than later but uh thanks for watching everybody just wanted to to give a quick update on this and uh say hi and and thanks for watching thanks for the subs uh if you aren't a sub please hit that like button hit the sub button and uh we'll catch you in the next one thanks and have a good day